I can't believe these huge ulcers <laughs> <laughs> did not come from the ground. It just looks so natural. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, when you look at the it looks It's so obvious. This is embroidery floss, but once I stitched into the pieces, then I'll stick it under some matto with rapid um, plastic mm. and put vinegar over yeah. it, leave it for a night, maybe two nights, until it kind of gets aged. This is wrapped in wire um, with washers, and so I'll, I'll wrap the piece and then I'll spray it with I'll soak it. Vinegar and then wrap it and it kind of rusts rust overnight. And rust and yeah, and then I soak it, and then this is like cheap, horrible lace that um, I put in the dye pot. And um, other pieces, because like, these are wrapped in like the lining for old skirts, and then I torture to it to, to melt the synthetics. Um, so, what is the process? It's a huge process. It's, it's like a communication with the natural earth, shall we say. It, that, I love that's sort of the conversation. Yeah. Colors and just the simple things. And then I like the reusing stuff. And then things are a lot of these ones are basket cord, so I'll cover the basket cord with cloth. And it was hand sewn. Too. Yeah, it's all hand sewn on. So they're covered, and then I wind them around the metal stake, and I rust it further. And then before it's assembled, it's all soaked in baking 
hot water in it, even in soda. Which your, your house must smell amazing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was this tiny in, in my dining room. Okay. And, and the rest is all down on this um, little corner on, you know, a really nice carpet. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> else to do. Which is covered with cloths, and I wrap all the I wrap the outside so that it's nice and firm. And you're not going to knock it off. And then, and then the mat is kind of attached to the floor, and then I'll be I'll be trying the mat in all different ways until I know which way it kind of tells me it needs to be. Because when you hear you do say that it was like a process to make them look like that. But even when I look at it right now, I still see the middle like yeah. over time and almost due to this coloration it's still continuing to find the best thing to do. You get like just like an idea of the pattern on the other side. It kind of shows through, but it's not dominant. Yeah, yeah. This was um, very queenly fabric that I, somebody was throwing out a huge bulge of it on Cape Cod one year. So I, ha I have a ton of it. <laughs> Yeah, and then here you can see where it, this is where it's burned. Okay. I torch it. It almost looks like um, nylon stockings, you mm -hmm. know how you kind of got that yeah. shine from it? It does look like you wrap it so it would be stuck in between. And, you know, I mean, always, it's always like a nice how you very reflection within the like, sculpture. Yeah, I'm trying to get like a balance going across and a flow and kind of conversations uh, between, <laughs> between the pieces. There's so many pictures going on here. I just, I couldn't stop saying it because I was just like, yeah, it's just really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And it, it is a conversation between this is what I said before you guys are talking. Um, and the like natural. Yeah, I've actually just started doing these during the pandemic, so I, I only started making these sculptures you know, at the beginning of the year. I call it the art group because it was the um, inspiration from the quarantine. I definitely want to create something in quarantine, so it definitely is the same materials, such as It's almost oh, like, you know, one of those fidget toys, you know, to, <laughs> to calm yourself, yeah. you know, when, you, when you're sewing it, that it's, that they're very calming to me. Oh my god. And, and Do you use a sewing machine? Start making, no. Oh, you Hand can. Oh, god. I hate sewing machines. Unless you're hired. I'm not good with technology. I've been trying very hard to make it. It's, it's worth saying to you. So I actually made quite a lot of these when, when my daughters were both at home. We have kind of girls' night, watch a, watch a you know, girly movie that we've seen a hundred times so you can talk through it. And, and then I sew these because it doesn't take that much concentration to you know, make the initial pieces. It's the art of putting it all together that takes the, you know, so this is your main focus? I also do stitch portraits. I know that they were talking about. So, I did... Uh, that could be your main focus. 
<laughs> I love your bag, by the way. That's That's a gorgeous bag. Is that vintage? It is. Only oh, unique. Uh, unique. Uh, for a few dollars, it's, uh, it's a very nice uh, Anne Gollum, and my Instagram is, the handle is Anne Gollum, and my webpage is annegollum.com. Thank you.